welcome to the Cesar Rocho on migration stuff. I think, should we start? Do we need to wait a little bit longer? I think we can start. Yeah? Go. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, welcome okay, everybody. thanks a lot. Okay, so welcome to the Cesar Rocho on migration. My name is Marika Williams from Trust IT and together with my colleague Stephanie Parker, the amazing uh, CESDA uh, main office and the very active uh, CESDA uh, service providers, we are presenting you today, the CESDA Roadshow on migration. Um, so uh, as I said earlier, you have entered in listen only mode. Um, raise your hand if you wanna say something in the discussion later on after the presentations of all speakers. Um, the slides and the recordings will be made available afterwards. Um, uh, but for now, uh, we just wanted to welcome you to this first, uh, to the second edition of the Roadshow. So the agenda of today is the following. Uh, we first do a very brief introduction. Then uh, Dimitra Kondili from Eke and Sodanet is going to uh, present us the CES, the data catalog and the data management expert guide for researchers uh, on migration. Uh, then uh, Ami will talk about the EMM survey registry and the CESA data catalog for discovery. Uh, then Peter Cherche is going to talk about CESA data management expert guide and the data catalog for users. So he's gonna bring the user perspective in here. And then Ahmad Wali uh, is going to talk about the Hummingbird project. Then we're gonna have a discussion with our panelists, also Meredith and uh, Dimitri in the call. And then you would also, uh, you can of course also ask your questions there. So the Cesar Rocho series, well, the series is uh, based, is to highlight uh, and get you to be familiar with the CESDA data catalog and the CESDA data management expert guide. These are two very useful tools for your research. Um, and uh, in, a, in a world beset by global challenges ranging from the COVID-19 uh, crisis to socioeconomic crisis such as migration, um, you can find a world of treasures in the data in the CESA data catalog, uh, and it can help you with your research uh, on the CESA, with the CESA data management expert guide. So we've we've discussed uh, we've set in place a series of five roadshows. You can see the dates here: the 30th of September, today the 8th of October, then the next one next week, 21st and the 28th of October, uh, each addressing one global challenge. Because what we want to show you here is how. When you work on addressing your research on addressing global challenges, how both the CESA data catalog and the data management expert guide can help you do that and can help you perform your research in a, can um, help you discover new data sets, but also can help you with the data management in your own research. Now we can we are really happy to count with the with the synergies and the help uh, of the following uh, service providers that you see on the left, but we also created synergies with Eurodoc and with Hummingbird, MicroAid, Inaru, and Shock uh, projects uh, to bring a wider perspective to, to the stories. Now, in 2020, we worked with CESA uh, to highlight a series of, of treasures in their data catalogs. We did, a, we did a podcast with both Dimitra and Ami to, to talk about the treasures that you can find on migration in the CESA data catalog. They will touch upon this briefly again today, but I really recommend you listen to the podcast. Um, for this, um, for this uh, webinar, it's really important to understand that um, the metadata uh, sourced in all these projects uh, that we see, see here, the Hummingbird, Hummingbird Project, Shock, MyCreate, um, it's really important to understand that eventually you will be able to access uh, the metadata of all these cross uh, European projects through CESA data catalog as well. The data management expert guides, here we give an infographic of an overview of the seven chapters. Dimitra will talk a lot more about that later on. Uh, and here we have one of the user stories uh, that was provided by Peter uh, Cherche, who will talk about what he did uh, there um, to all of you. But you can also uh, download this story from the CESA web, uh, website. Now a little bit about you. We wanted to understand how familiar you were already with the CESA data catalog and the CESA DMAC. Um, so um, we understand that uh, most of you have heard about it, have used it. Uh, so we're also interested in, uh, in uh, connecting with you after the webinar to understand if you can provide us with the user story about this. So you'll, you'll, you'll receive a mail from our side. Um, 
We also wanted to understand from which uh, sectors you, uh, you came. So we see that the majority of you come from education, some of you from consulting, hospital, and also some of you from government, uh, and also a very big amount of people from other. So if, if you have put other in registration, maybe in the chat you can tell us where, uh, what it is, that, which sector you belong to that you couldn't find in the, in the registration. Uh, and then also uh, Irena uh, from the training working group um, has uh, asked me to ask you the following. Go, do you have three minutes? Uh, then we, they would really like to have your opinion. Uh, the data users survey, uh, they want to understand how you use the data catalog and what your experience is from this. Okay, so uh, I also have to mention the following that to enter the raffle for a free audible audiobook, uh, you can type a random four digit number in the space provided and so the winner will be announced in the chat at the end of the webinar so i mean it, it takes you a few seconds or a few minutes to uh, to fill out this survey it will help says the data catalog greatly and in the end you'll benefit from a from an even more friend, user friendly uh, uh, data catalog so now i want to pass uh, the floor to dimitra um, I'm going to stop sharing, Dimitra, and then we'll briefly present you.